Hello and welcome to a new episode of Breaking News, a series of short videos explaining how I solve different problems in our geological practice. My name is Ricardo Valls. I'm the president and founder of Boundary Consultant. And in today's episode, I will address a common problem of working with different geochemical data sets and how to combine them into one single group of data. Remember that you can send me your questions to my email at valsvg at gmail.com or you can leave me a comment down here. So once again, breaking news, enjoy. Many times we are confronted with the situation that we get data from two different labs or even a same lab, but that has used a more advanced method. And the below detection limits for the two data sets are different. For example, in one case is 0 0.1 and another case is 0 0.05. What to do? Well, the most simple solution is to work with each data set separately, which means you're going to be doing double the work. And of course, there will always be problems where you're trying to put together the result of those two processes. If you have access to the pulps, that is the best situation, you just do a reanalysis of the below detection values for the lab or the technique that has the higher below detection value and that's it you're done you can uh, you can work for example let's say these are two group of data goal one and goal two and the below detection limit for goal two is 0 0.5 while the detection limit for the goal one is 0 0.05 this is the more modern thing so um, as I said, if you can do the, the reanalysis for those missing values of 0 .0, 0 0.5, and then you just do a regression analysis, and that way you can convert the old values of goal two into the new values of goal one using this regression equation and usually is has a very good fit because you are actually reanalyzing re the same sample. But what can we do if we don't have access to those pulp or those samples? Well, the best solution will be as follows. You can organize all your data from the maximum values to the minimum values, like here, and then you determine the first quartile for each group. Quartile, the formula is quartile of the whole data, comma one, that will mean the first quartile. And in this case, the first quartile for the group one is 5.86, which are highlighted here in yellow. And for the group two is 7.07, .07, which are highlighted here also in yellow. Next, we need to find a regression between these two groups. And because regression only work with pairs, I can only select the first five pairs of this group in order to do my regression analysis. And then I just do the study and I got and obtain this equation, which means that in order to convert the, the value of the goal two, of the oldest data, I need to use this formula like minus 5.54 plus 2.07 by the value of the gold from the new method of gold one. And then once you have converted all your below detection values to the new value based on the gold values of the, of the group one, then you can unify all your values into one column 
and now you can do your work for this group of data. Of course, summarizing the best thing is to have the possibility of doing a reassaying of the below detection limit for the oldest method. But if not, this method will help you solve this situation, which regrettably is very common in the practice of geochemistry. So I hope this will be helpful. And as always, I welcome your comments and questions. You can write me to my email at valfigigmail.com or leave a comment down here at the site that you're using to see this feed. Until next time, have a great day. I think these videos are brilliant and I'm sure you will like them too. Please like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell.